All right, class, uh, welcome back. Today we're doing uh, section 3.7, and uh, today we're going to be learning all about uh, percents and how they relate to fractions and decimals. So uh, write your name and today's date right there. So um, percentages are, are really just another way of writing fractions and decimals. They're a way of representing numbers that are not whole numbers. Okay, um, and uh, an example of that would be 12% uh, can actually be written as 12 over 100 or as 0 0.12. They're all the same thing. 85% uh, can be written as 85 over 100 or 0 0.85. Now, uh, the, the term percent actually uh, is kind of a clue to what it means, because in French, uh, 100 is actually 100, which is written C-E-N-T. And one way to remember that is that there are 100 cents in $1. So the word percent literally means, per literally means out of. And cent, well, that means 100. So if we talk about a certain percent, we're talking about a ratio that is out of 100. So as an example here, if we want to write uh, the following as, um, as percents, uh, these following percents as fractions and decimals, 75%, well, that's the same thing as 75 out of 100. And as we've learned previously, 75 out of 100 is the same as 75 one hundredths. So I can write that as 0 0.75, because remember, this is our, this is our 10th column. And then this is our hundredth column, so there's 75 one hundredths. Now it's worth noting that uh, we're probably not going to write our final answer for our fraction in this form, 75 out of 100, because that's not uh, its simplest form. So it's a good practice to get into always simplifying your fractions, and so I'm going to uh, divide this by 25, top and bottom, and my final answer in terms of fractions would actually be 3 out of 4, which is the same as 0.75, which is the same as 75%. Now 8%. Uh, we've got to be careful with this one. Eight percent is again. It's going to be eight out of or over one hundred. Now eight over hundred is not point eight. That's eight hundredths. That's zero point zero eight. So a common mistake you don't want to make there. Again, we can simplify eight out of a hundred because we can divide top and bottom by four, and we can end up with a final answer that is two out of twenty-five. Now, our last example here might seem a little strange, 157%. Um, it might seem uh, strange, uh, but you can have more than 100%. Um, and so in this case, 157%, we're going to follow the exact same rules we had before. That's just going to be 157 over 100. Now, I can't simplify this at all, but if I want to convert this into a, uh, into a decimal, it might be useful to actually think of this, and right now it's an improper fraction. I've got a larger numerator than my denominator. I can change this into a, a mixed number, and that might help me out. So I can take 100 out of the top and write 1, and then I'm left with 57 over 100. So to write that as a decimal, well, I've got a 1 and point. I've got 57 one hundredths, so that's 0.57. Okay, so when we're going to convert percentages, pretty straightforward. We're just going to write the number over 100. And then don't forget to simplify. Now, when we have to go the other way around, so if we have a decimal or a fraction and we have to convert it into a percentage, let's take a look. So 0 0.18, we need to convert that into a percentage. We know that 0.18, that's the same as 18 one hundredths. And so 18 over 100, that's just going to be 18%. Same here. Now I've got 7, or sorry, pardon me, 0 0.7. So that's like 7 over 10. Now 7 over 10, I'm just going to multiply top and bottom by 10. I can write that as 70 over 100. And once I've got my number over 100, I know what my percentage is. It's just going to be 70 percent. So you can see that the plan here is just get your decimal into a fraction that is over or out of 100 and then that's your percentage. Now if we start with a fraction already, uh, I've got 7 over 25 here. Well you can see that I, I'm not out of 100 but it's pretty easy to convert 25 into 100 by just multiplying by 4. So I can do that with top and bottom and I get 7 times 4 is 28 over 25 times 4 is my 100 and so my answer here is 28 over 100. That's 
And let's look at this last one here. So 21 over 35. Now, this isn't going to be uh, easy to convert into, uh, into 100. 35 doesn't go nicely into 100. So there's actually two ways to do this here. One way to do this is we can go ahead and just do a division. Um, I can convert this into a decimal by doing 21 divided by 35. And I can do that, and that's fine. It'll give me a decimal, and I can work with that. But uh, something else I want you to do first, I want you to just try before you get to that point. And it's a, like I said, it's always a good habit to always try and simplify your fractions first. So 21 over 35, they have a common factor of 7. So I'm going to divide top and bottom by 7 and just see what I get. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 35 divided by 7 is 5. Now, I'm not done, but I can see here that with a denominator of 5, again, that's pretty easy to convert into 100. I'd have to multiply it by 20. So I'll multiply top and bottom by 20 and see what I get. 3 times 20 is 60. 5 times 20 is 100. And so 60 out of 100 is 60%. So when we're converting uh, to a percentage, basically we're just our goal is to try to write our number as a, a fraction with a denominator of 100. If we can get there, then we know that that's what our percentage is. It's out of 100. And if we're stuck, what you want to do is you want to simplify. Always try and simplify your fraction first. If that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, if you're still stuck, well, then you have to just go ahead and divide. All right, that's it for lesson 3.7. Don't forget to do your recap.